Hi YouTube, it's Style by Mel and I'm back with my installation video and my likes and dislikes so far about the hair. Um, and I told you guys I would come back and I make one after I installed it and this is this video. So, like I told you guys, it was very brown when I first got the hair. And as you can see, my hair is not really that brown. It looks black until you compare it to jet black hair, but you know, I'm a true one B. So, I had to dye this hair, <clears throat> sorry, I had to dye this hair and it dyed very easily, there were no issues, um, no, when I did dye the hair, I will say, and this might be my only complaint, when I dyed it, um, though I'm not getting any strands now, and I'll tell you why, when I was dyeing it, I did get a few strands, more strands than I would have liked to get. So I just went ahead and as a cautionary, you know, issue because I don't like tumbleweeds of weave flying all over the place. So just to be on the safe side, I did go ahead and seal my wefts after I dyed it with Fritz Frey Check sealant. And it's a fabric sealant. And I'm sure there's other stuff out there that's better for that kind of thing. But that's what I've always used. It's what works for me. So if it ain't broke, I'm not about to fix it. So I just went ahead. I sealed it. So while the hair was drying, I went ahead and I put it on the, the, the webs. And I let it all dry together. And then the next morning, I packed all the hair up in each individual bag. And I went to go get it installed. And since then, honestly, I don't have any tangles. I don't have any strands so so far so good um second i did give you my first impressions on opening the hair um when i opened the hair i knew what i was going to expect for the most part because you can always get a bad bundle here and there that always happens and anybody is susceptible to that it's just you know it, it, it's just a game can't get mad you know you were playing the game so you know I kind of knew what I was expecting already because I live I'm telling you I live in Mingy hair like I live in that hair I don't wear any other hair I've been wearing her hair since she was I believe at Salon Ramsey before she even got her um, salon that she's in now Snob Life Studios and that's back when Ming Lee had one phone number and everybody reached her on that number i used to text her and you know i've been wearing her hair ever since then and it's never disappointed me i have hair that is two years old so two year old hair and i i just took it out a couple of weeks ago and the only reason why i bought hair is because once she was having a sale so you know, if you can get a bundle deal or something like that and have some hair to stash away, I suggest you do that because you never know. And I always have various lengths so that I can change my look whenever I want. Um, but when I first got that hair, I, this hair is 22 inches. Now, I am 5'3", or I'd like to think, 5'3 in a good day. Some people, my doctor says 5'2 and a half most times. Depends on who measures me, but anyways. Um, so for me, I was only used to wearing 18, 16, 14, so I had that layered look, you know, but it didn't pass 18 inches. And so that wasn't that long on me. It was like, you know, mid-bag, just like at the bottom of your bra strap, I guess, on me. And though that's pretty long, you know, I wanted to experiment with longer hair. So when I did get this the first time around, it was gracing the top of my lap, and I'm like, I can't do that I'm not ready for it I couldn't you know I couldn't appreciate all the hair flipping action I got going on now so I cut it and I kept cutting it and I kept cutting it and now I look at myself like girl were you stupid <laughs> like I kept cutting that hair and so I definitely wish I wouldn't have because now it's down to maybe 19 and a half I guess if it's even 20 inches so with that you know I was like I'm right I kept that hair because I do plan on putting it into a u-part wig and making I want a straight shoulder length bob so that I think that's gonna be really pretty um, but I kept it I'm still able to wear it now if that's what I wanted to do I told you I just took it out a few weeks ago but now I really want to go back and have a true 22 um, if I 
can show you the ends. The ends actually look like I trimmed them some, but I didn't, which, you know, means that the ends are very healthy. Um, there's no smell to the hair. No tangles. Just running my hair through it. This is braided, slept on, unraveled, shake and go hair. You know, you just shake it and you go. <laughs> Um, so it's very low maintenance, I will say that. Um, my hair is not extremely coarse, so when I did press this out, you know, it, it lays pretty well. Um, I have minimum leave out, about this much, and my edges, and nothing else. Um, so when I pressed it out, but it blends really well. Um, it's not, it's not a yakky type of feel. It is silkier than yakky, but it's not super silky hair, like I would say, I guess, a Malaysian. Um, it's not super silky, which I think blends better with the uh, many women of color. I won't say all, because everybody's hair is different, but, you know, we have some texture to our hair. So, you know, this, even though it's not yakky, it's not super silky so you know when you press that hair out it's gonna blend you don't gotta worry about that it's it's a good grade of hair um it's just amazing hair overall and i don't want to start rambling so i will definitely come back if you guys would like me to after you know i i will eventually need to like curl it and get my whole life with this hair so i will come back i'll curl it you know i'll definitely style it up make another video if you guys want to see and then you know show you after it's washed that the waves do come back i know that for a fact this is hair that is an investment really it's great hair catch her on a sale she has sales all the time um but it's so pretty like the hair itself is so pretty i feel like you can't really put a price on this hair because the amount of money that you're going to spend um, with installations, if you don't do it yourself, with buying new hair over and over, this hair is just, it's so worth it. Because you'll save money on hair and all you got to do is pay get somebody to put in. And if you put in your own hair, even better. Even better. So, I love the hair. This is my second video on it. If you guys have anything else that you guys would like for me to um, discuss, talk about, review, let me know. I'm open to all suggestions. And I'm new to YouTube, so don't be too harsh. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, guys.